Hey, welcome back to 3DH Beer Reviews. Here I'm going to do a short video for you this evening. Um, I have, again, said empty glass. I went ahead and, you know, give it a quick rinse out. And, um, uh, what... I've never had this beer. I have liked many of beers from the Six Point Brewing Company, um, out of New York. And, um, I've been looking for this one for a while. This one is not a common beer around here in my neck of the area, um... But uh, without further ado, let me introduce you to The Crisp. Man, this is a lager by their standards. It comes in at 5.4% alcohol by volume. Gives you this short little term over here. Uh, brewed and canned by the Six Point Brewery, Brooklyn, New York. And it says uh, Beer for Beasts um, on the side of the can. 44 IBUs, 5.9 SRM. Let's go ahead and just pop it open and get into the glass. I got this for a dollar sixty-seven a can, and um, I've been. This is one of the ones that I've been interested in trying. So, without further ado, here is the beer. Look at that pour. Very very nice. Lightly carbonated there. We got a stream of um, bubbles going up there. Maybe I just didn't rinse it out as well as I'd hoped for. But look at the head of that beer, man. Them bubbles are just gigantic. Um, I don't know if the camera's playing nice. I can't really tell from there. But without leading this on for too long, let's go ahead and just try to get all this out of the can, shall we? And get into said aroma because that color is just a it's almost like pale nothing um, in comparison because what I'm looking at here almost looks like a light yellow straw color um, head is just pure white <sighs> I mean this is just a standard beer in my opinion just by, by the aroma and what I mean by standard beer, I want to say standard in the craft beer sense, only because of the fact that I am getting a abundance of uh, lightly, you know, a, a very light malt body presence and light hop. Um, it's very grassy. It's very malty. It's very biscuity when I say malty. Ah, uh, that's just that. That is just. A, a lovely smelling beer. Um, I, I'm very thirsty, so I'm gonna get up in this. Man, prose. Oh yeah. This, by any means, is a wonderful beer. Um, I can't. I, how do I want to put this? I can't express how good this is to me as a lager drinker. I love to search out the craft beer industry and find the best, most flavorful and well-crafted lagers that I can possibly find. Um, everybody that knows me, that knows my channel, um, knows that I am a huge, huge fan of Sam Adams Boston Lager, but I've been seeking this one out for quite a long time. I've been trying to get people to get at it. I was just up at uh, my one of my favorite craft beer bars, uh, 101 bottles of beer on the wall up in Kent, um, right after they had their uh, six point tap takeover. And when I tried to order the crisp off tap, they were having problems with the line. And they were like, you know, it's going to be shut down for quite a while until we get the lines fixed. And I'm like, oh. So, you know, to my dismay, I still didn't get to have it off tap, but when I seen a, a single can, um, when I went out to Red Wine and Brew to meet my good buddy Dave, um, I, I couldn't pass up the opportunity. Uh, I should have gotten a couple of their other beers that I have not had in can, um, but uh, this is just, it's really good, it's really flavorful. Mm. You got that's just that wonderful malt body. 
and it's very lightly hopped. You've got like a little bit of a grassy back note with very little bitterness. Um, this will also help people to understand um, what they mean by the IBUs. Because people look at the IBUs, especially if they're a hop head, and they're like, oh my god, man, we want 100 IBUs, we want 102 IBUs, or 120 IBUs, or even 1,000 IBUs. Um, but in the sense of lagers, uh, in my opinion, I tend to like the more maltier lagers. I don't want my lager to be very hoppy. If I wanted a hoppy pale ale, man, what else would I be going for? Or at least like a Noble Pills. Um, but at the same time, this has that real light biscuity, you know, tones to it, kind of like a two-row pale malt blend, and it seems to be hopped with uh, uh, one of the noble hops in, in my, um, I, I want to kind of reach out towards, um, oh, what do I want to go with for this? I, I kind of want to lean towards... Oh, which one is it? Oh. oh, let me grab a bottle real quick because I have tasted a couple of these hops before. Um, I have, let's go ahead and shoot out, man, maybe the um, Hallertau Middle Fruit, the East Cane Goldings. Man, those are some of the type of hops that I'm going with here because of the fact that the bottle that I grabbed out was the um, Mosaic Hop Edition, and this is not nearly, you know, grapefruity enough for the Mosaic. I, I, I know specifically I've had a couple of beers with the Mosaic, but this seems to be like one of those East King Goldings or Hallertau Middle Fruit kind of like Noble Hops. When you, when you get into the Noble Hops, I, I'm trying to cut this short, but... It's very light, very grassy, very, you know, just a little bit of citrus characteristics, very, very low on the uh, resin kind of uh, taste from the, um, the lupine glands. And also, when, when, when you get into that, you want to put them in uh, pilsners, you want to put them in light lagers. You, you know, I, I would not consider this a light lager by any means, coming in at 5.4% alcohol by volume. Um, but at the same time, this is almost like a borderline lager pilsner, in my opinion. Uh, I mean, color-wise, that's almost like straw in color. But at the same time, I mean, this gives me a lot to discuss because of the sheer fact that I go from one dimension while drinking on the um, Sam Adams Boston lager, you know, uh, to, to this. I mean, I've, I, some of the ones that really stick out in my mind that I, I really enjoyed was... Um, what was that? The Lager of the Lakes um, from Bells. That was really good. Um, you got this. You got my Boston Lager. You have, um, oh, shoot. There, there's been so many. I, I just, I can't, they're on, on the tip of my tongue, but I just can't all blurt them all out as fast, that fast. Um, but again, sorry for taking up all this time. Uh, if you had this, man, let me know your feelings, your thoughts, your taste buds, and, and whatnot, you know, on this beer, because this has been my first time having it, and I enjoy it, you know, it, it wouldn't be nothing for me to go up and pick up, uh, man, like two or three packs of these as they come in, I, I believe, four packs, um, but I really enjoyed it, you know, let me know what you guys think, man. I'm about to sit out and play a few video games, man. Peace, prostus, and as always, man, drink amazing, great craft beers. Peace, prostus, and I'll see you guys up on the flip side, man.